Now, once we set up a Delvin CSS, let me just change a few things inside this index.js. Here, let me get rid of this image because we are not using it and we are not using this import statement of this styling. And then I'm going to get rid of this styling from here. Just out of that, I'm going to change this title. So we specify here crude application. And then I'm going to scroll down. And here, instead of this div, I'm going to specify here section. Change this div with section something like this and inside this main right here i'm going to get rid of this styling first because i'm not using any styling because we are using Delvin css so we first add here h1 heading tag and then specify some text to it so to this h1 we're simply going to specify employee management save the changes and back to the project you can see you're going to have your title just out of that let me center this title and specify some Delvin classes to it so to specify Telvin classes to this h1 heading tag, we specify class names, text Excel. So this will just increase the size of the text. Then specify MD text 5 Excel. So after medium size of devices, I want to increase the size of this font. And then I'm going to specify text center to center all the text. Then I'm going to specify font bold. And then I'm going to specify padding by 10. Just out of that, this main here, let me specify some class names. I'm going to simply specify here padding by 5. So this will just add top and bottom padding to this main section. Back to my project. And now you can see I'm going to have the result something like this. Now what I want, I want to change this font family. So I'm going to search for Google font and click on this googlefont.com website. I'm going to search for my favorite font, which is Poppins. You can choose any font that you like. And then I'm going to choose the regular styling. So let's choose this regular 400. And I'm going to choose this import statement. Let's copy this import styling. And in the project, you have to paste that import statement inside a global file. So right up here, you have to paste that import statement. Just out of that, let me get it off this HTML and body. And right here, I'm going to say, select all the elements and select all the descendant elements. And then specify font family poppins. So let me copy this font family and then specify that here. So we are just specifying only the Poppins font family to all the elements of HTML. Save this file back to the project and you can see I'm going to have my Poppins font family to the text. Let me just zoom this out a little bit. Just out of that, close this global file and inside this main, right down here, just out of this H1 heading tag, right down here, I'm going to create a container, a Delvin container class and then specify here mx auto so this will just center this division tag and then i'm going to specify flex justify between and then i'm going to specify padding by five so this will add top and bottom padding and border is going to be bottom so this will add only bottom border to this div inside this div right here i'm going to create a div with the class left so this will just specify this division tag on the left side and then i'm going to specify here flex gap is going to be 3. So this is going to add a gap between all the flex item. So inside this div right here, I'm going to add my button. So let's add here a button. To this button, we specify text, add employee. Just out of that, let me add some classes to it to specify styling. So to this button, we specify flex. Let me just toggle this window on the right side. So you will see everything clearly. So this is the button. So we specify first flex, then I'm going to specify BG Indigo 500. This will specify background color to this button, then specify text Y. After that, we specify padding X4. So this will add a left and right padding and padding Y2. This will add top and bottom padding. Then I'm going to specify border. After that, I'm going to specify rounded MD. So this will specify border radius to this button like this and then i'm going to add here hover effect the hover is going to be bg gray 50 and hover border is going to be indigo 500 as well as i'm going to say hover text is going to be indigo 500 let me change this color to gray 800 so when you hover on this button you will get this gray 800 color to this text so this is a very simple add employee button. Now just out of this div, right down here, I'm going to create the collapsible form. And after that, 
I'm going to create my table. So we'll look at that later. Just for now, to this add button, let me add an icon. So let me first save the changes, open a new tab and search for React icons. I'm going to click on this React icon website. And from here, you can choose any icon you like. I'm choosing this box icon. So we need to first install React icons. So just copy the statement back to the project, open the terminal, clear the screen, and execute a command called npm install React icons. When you press enter, you'll have this library inside your project. Just out of that, once you have that, you have to use that icon. So to use that icon, you need to first import that icon using the import statement and then use that as a, a component inside your React application. At the top, right up here, you have to say import in the object you specify the icon name from in the single code you specify react icons and from the react icons you specify the icon name inside these curly braces so if you're back to the box icons here you can see you have different icons here what i want i want to get the plus icon you can see when i scroll down here i'm going to have the user plus icon i'm just going to click over this icon this will just copy icon name and then I can specify that icon name inside these curly braces. Something like this. Just copy this icon name and here I'm going to paste that and create a component. So I'm going to press tab. Now what you have to do is because you're using box icons, you have to import these icons from the BI directory. So just copy this import statement and specify that right up here. Replace this icon name with your icon name save this file back to the project and reload it you can see you're going to have your icon here now just out of that if you want you can specify the size to this icon so just back to your project and specify here size so just specify here 23 so this is a 23 pixel size for this icon you can see i'm gonna have my icon here if i want to add some space i can easily do that by wrapping this icon inside a span tag i'm gonna say here span specify class name here padding x1 and then paste my icon save this file back to the project and you can see i'm going to have my icon inside this add employee button now if you want to follow along with me from this section you can easily do that with git branches you have to switch your main branch into section one to switch that you specify a command called git switch and then specify the branch name 01 and press tab you're going to have your branch name when you press enter you're in the section one branch 